All right, for today's project, we're gonna have some fun outside. So you're gonna need two canvases, a couple of paints, tape, a knife, and some squirt guns. Then we're gonna fill these squirt guns with water and a little bit of paint. And then we're gonna paint our canvases. All right, so on our canvases, since Mother's Day is coming up, we're gonna tape mom. I'll show you how to tape this. And you can make it as perfect or not perfect as you choose. And then we're going to cut some of the edges to make it a little more straight, if you like. And then in the end, we'll make it look like that. All right, so now we have our squirt guns full of paint, our canvases taped up. Now we just need a couple of fun kiddos that want to paint. All right, let's go. Squirt your canvas. Squirt no, your canvas. No. Squirt the canvas. Squirt, squirt, squirt. You can use different colors too. See? Blue. See blue? Yeah. Jeff, you want to try a different I color? See yellow. What color is this? Ah! Come on! All right, so our squirt gun paint kind of bled through the tape a little bit, so I'm just gonna go over it and paint a little bit. You can choose whatever color you like. I'm gonna go over it with white, and then I chose some other colors that I'm gonna put on top. All right, so now we're gonna do some bubble painting. So we're gonna need a couple canvases again, some bubbles, and we're gonna drop some, a couple drops of paint in about two inches of bubble. Then we're gonna Shake them up. All right, let's get painting. All right, so now we're gonna bubble paint. You can change colors. Good job. So while doing our project, we found out that the bubbles don't really blow. They kind of just splatter, but it still turns out kind of cool. All right, so now we're gonna make some glow-in-the-dark homemade bouncy balls. Now these bouncy balls don't bounce quite as great as other bouncy balls, but it's still kind of fun. So we're gonna start with some borax, cornstarch, I lined up my dry plates, and then I'm going to put my glow-in-the-dark and glue in these bowls. So first, we're going to take a half a teaspoon 
of borax into each of these plates. Then we're going to put four tablespoons of cornstarch into each. Then, then we mix four tablespoons of warm water into each bowl. One, two, two three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four. So now that all of our ingredients are mixed together and dissolved, then we're going to go over to these bowls and we're going to put about a tablespoon of white school glue in each bowl. And then we'll add about a teaspoon of glowing paint. I want to do different colors because I'm going to make a rainbow bouncy ball. So now we're going to mix our color into our cornstarch mix and then we're going to let it sit for about two minutes to kind of react. Afterwards, we'll mix them all together. Alright, so now these have sat for two minutes and we're going to start mixing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Supposed to start forming a sticky... sticky glob and then it'll start losing its stickiness and become a moldable ball. Okay, so you're going to start kneading your little dough until it can form a ball. You have that one. That one. I did. All right. All right. So now we have our little balls. We're going to mush them together, roll them. Let's see if they glow in the dark. Oh, a little bit. All right. Pretty nifty. Again, to keep these safe and good for a couple of days, put them in a Ziploc and store them in your fridge. Have fun.